killer soul music, some some sweet harmonies in this record. Going to Billboard's Hot 100, a lost 45, July 29, 1972, Billboard's Hot 100, and uh, at number 94. Gosh, dog, it. it's on Billboard's Hot 100 for only five weeks on the pop charts. I could never be happy by the emotions. Gosh, the emotions. Beautiful record. I could never be happy. Started out singing gospel, but they switched over to secular. They released their first album in 1969. Actually, uh, there were three sisters. It was Wanda, Sheila, and Jeanette. Boy, they sound sweet. Man, just great. songbirds, man. Chirping away. But it wasn't until the late 70s before they had their biggest success. But uh, let's go into the But first off, they signed with Folt. Late 60s, folk, which was associated with Stax, and they teamed up and worked with David Porter and Isaac Hayes, those two guys who wrote and produced those hit records by Sam and Dave back in the late 60s. But when Stax folded, when Stax uh, closed down in 1975, the emotions went to the Kalimba Production, Kalimba Productions, which was founded by Maurice White. In other words, they teamed up with Maurice White of Earth, Wind, and Fire, and uh, he co-produced, at least he co-produced the two albums that got real big for them, Rejoice, that was in 1977, and Sunbeam, which was 1978. And Best of My Love, God, that was just, well, what can I say, a supernova, but big hit for the emotions, co-written by Maurice White in 1977, and then there was Boogie Wonderland, got a lot of help by Earth, Wind, and Fire as well, on, uh, particularly on Boogie, uh, Boogie Wonderland. But I gotta go back on this record. Uh, I could never be happy by the emotions. It's classic soul. Sounds a lot like, reminds me a lot of Ain't No Mountain High Enough but it, by, by the Supremes, and that was written by Ashford and Simpson. But also, this song kind of reminds me a little bit of another hit record. You might remember a real humongous hit, Summer of 72. It was uh, Walking in the Rain with the One I Love by Love and Limited. Got that same vibe, that same Quiet Storm vibe to that record. Both those records. God, I love both of them. Well, here we go. Let's go to the chart action on this record, The Emotions. I Could Never Be Happy. It peaked at 93 on the pop charts. God. I tell you. A lot of good songs have fell by the wayside. Not all the songs that made Top 40 were bad songs. This song was a good one. It's at 94, up from 97, a week of July 29, 1972. It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for only five weeks. The Emotions. <laughs> 